You guys, I'm in a bit of a funk related to my knitting and I have three projects that need my attention. So making a video about it, it's kind of motivating because I have a reason now to come back and finish these three pieces. So what I have here, I have Calling It Spring by Drops Design. This is a free pattern which I completely messed up but I decided to go on and work on it until the end. So I started binding off and this is my cat Nikita who is very much ruling my house at the moment and every day so I still need to work on the sleeves it fits me so well I bought another ball of yarn so I just need to work on the sleeves but this is in two millimeter needles it's very tedious the progress is very slow the only thing that keeps me motivated is the color so I will start working on this. This will be my first big milestone in completing this uh, project. Second milestone is to amend this blouse. This is called uh, Spring Peak, also from Drops Design. I finished it, I wore it multiple times. I love the color, it's this wild orchid color, but the shoulder sleeves are way too large and it falls off of me and I have some yarn left over. So I decided maybe to make something in the back to keep the straps on my shoulders and maybe to work some uh, sleeves. Why not? I still have a yarn. And the third one is my improvised summer top. Again, <laughs> the shoulder straps are way too large and when I try to wear it, this just becomes like this. It stretches down and it basically falls off of me. So I will start in this order second and then third or maybe I should start with this because this is the easiest one I have an idea to not put elastic because I tried to put elastic and it doesn't make any change but I want to put like one or two or maybe th three strands of yarn from here to all the way in the back and then just like tie it straight Maybe it will curl up a bit I don't care or maybe I should make like this like sew it a little bit and make like a bow I don't know. That's why I can't do anything. I'm not decided. The easiest thing would be to do the sleeves. But also maybe this is the easiest thing. But I'm not sure what to do. Because if I try to make the back more covered. Like how, how to do it? Should I start here and then knit? And then bind off? Or cast on and then go down? And then how do I connect these two? I don't know. <sighs> I'll see. I'll see which one I go for it first. But this is my current project to amend somehow these three blouses and start wearing it, wearing them because it's summer already. I've worked so hard, but I can't wear it because they're not done. <laughs> okay. Okay. So a few hours later, I finished this part of my blouse. And I still have about 30 to 40 grams of yarn. And I don't know what to do. Look how long it was. It turned out to be. And this is good because I want it to... I want to have some safety here. Usually I finish the blouses up to here. And then when I lift my hands, the blouse just come up. And I don't want that. I want some safety. I want some... So, the pattern says that the sleeves should be about 64 to 70 stitches. And the sleeves are not as long. In theory, I could just bind it off like this. I like this kind of a butterfly look. But once again, I have about 30 grams of, maybe 35 grams of yarn. Why not use it? So, let me show you what the pattern looks like. The pattern sleeves look like this. So, wait. You see what a good camera woman I am. So I could, in theory, just bind it off. But I want to just like straight for 2-3 centimeters. Should I just decrease or should I go straight? I have no idea. <laughs> That's the beauty of improvising. Yeah. I love this color and every time I try it on, I put on this red lipstick too. Okay, 
I'm going to attempt to make some decreases, maybe like here, you know where the corner of this pattern is. Here, here, or maybe I should just go crazy and make it like this, just straight. I don't know. Okay. I'll think about it and then I'll come back. You guys, many, many hours later, I managed to do the bind off here. I made some pearl rows, some knit rows to make the same type as the neckline. And I finished the first sleeve. I actually uh, switched from 2 millimeter needles to 2.75. And I guess that's, that helped a bit. I finished this sleeve and I have 17 grams more of yarn to finish the second sleeve. I'm exhausted, but also very, very happy because my projects are going well. Welcome to my kitchen. So I thought that once I finished one sleeve, it was it's going to go so fast. But as per usual, in my case, it doesn't. So my mom brought me some cherries from our cherry tree. And I was meditating here, eating cherries, how to proceed. So the problem with the second sleeve is the following. For some reason, I have like 25 or almost 30 stitches more than this sleeve. And I try to decrease like crazy, but it's still quite big. I don't know, should I continue? You can see the difference. And then because I decrease so much and so abrupt, this place is whole messed up. I don't know. I'm thinking to just undo until the um, until I started, you know, working on the sleeve and just like basically do one of these, but then it's going to create such a crease up in here, but it looks like it's just part of the um, part of this pattern. Or should I just continue like normal people and do decreases? I don't know. What do you think? I'm going to eat some more cherries and continue to meditate and to understand what's the best solution. Welcome to my kitchen where I have the finished top from Drops Design. Call it spring. I finally did it, you guys. I'm so excited. I took this blouse with me in the park. I put the 30 minutes on the clock and I worked, 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 worked until I finished first sleeve, then the second sleeve. Oh my God, I had to MacGyver some things here. Turns out that the second sleeve was about 30 stitches more than this one. And I tried to do uh, abrupt decreases. It didn't work. So I just folded it. I don't know how to explain it. 10 rows like this, 10 rows inside, and then 10 rows on the other side. And I, I pushed the crochet hook, and then I, so I pushed the crochet through three uh, stitches. And I took the third stitches and I took it out uh, through the two stitches and I took it outside and then I knit on it. I don't know if it makes sense. I just improvised. So this blouse is finally done. I already wore it. I will add here a clip. It's amazing. I love it so much. It hugs my body in the right way. Uh, and according to my plan, I should be working on Peak spring, uh, peak spring, yeah, to make the back side and to make some sleeves. But this was two millimeter needles, and then the sleeves I went up to 275. And to be honest, I don't see any difference. I should have used 275 all the way. So this is also two mil or 2.5 mil. I don't millimeters, I don't remember. So my wrists are crying. My wrists are like, no, 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 no. So <laughs> I started doing some swatches with Aeron yarn with 4.5 millimeter needles. And oh my God, you guys, what a difference. It's like, it's like drinking milk with honey after just black coffee. I mean, I understand the usefulness of both of them. But me, I have a sweet tooth. I want some bigger yarn. So, I don't know. I just made a swatch to understand what I can do. I'm swatching on this. And I think I'm just going to take a break from my summer knits. And do some silly Aeron, acrylic, multiple colors, yellow. 
you know, island vibe type of knits. And then after two, three days, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come back to my spring peak. Happy knitting! Yay! I was successful to do the sticking of the two shoulder straps. However, <laughs> I did sticking one more time before, but it was in stocking it. And I was done with picking up stitches in like five minutes, whilst here I worked for like one hour. But okay, what is important is that I managed to stick it and to pick up stitches. So now all I gotta do is work, 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 work. Okay, and of course my cat is here. <laughs> so now I will have myself a relaxing evening with just stocking it. Happy knitting! So I did it, you guys. I let the stocking it take me away and I knitted this. And a few episodes of Law & Order later, bada bing bada boom, I have the backside. And I even connected the backside to the front uh, shoulder strap. And I'm going to connect this one and I think tonight I'm going to go to bed, but I am going to maybe uh, select the stitches for the sleeves. I'm not sure, but this is the progress I have thus far. Wait till I mean, oh. this is how it looks. Happy knitting. And three nights later, I have half of sleeve done. I'm working a bit slower on this because I can't take it to work. I take a sock to work. So I only knit at night while watching uh, Law & Order. And oh gosh, knitting on 2mm needles is not fun. But I am making some progress. I'm working on this sleeve with just some decreases in the underarm. And I'm going to try it on to see how much more. Because I have one more skein of 50 grams. So I think I'm going to leave the needles here. And just pick up stitches here. To see how much is it taking from the 50 grams. But otherwise. Yeah I finished the back panel. And then it was still falling off of me. So I did a round of crochet. To, to, to keep them together. Oh god. The more I work on it. The more I am tired. But I want to persevere. I don't want to leave it alone because if I leave it alone, I leave it alone right now. It will never be done. <laughs> so you guys are my motivation to finish these summer projects and to start wearing them because I worked quite a lot. That being said, finish coffee, work a bit, run to work. Okay. Oh, the light is so weird because it's 1 a.m. But I'm so excited, you guys. Look, I have two sleeves. I was working on this one up until here. Then I took a break and I pick up stitches here. And then I worked all of this with just decreases in the lower side of the arm, right? Yeah. Is this even focusing? Okay. And now I think I'm coming back to this. So in order to measure my yarn, for this, I'm pulling from the outside, and for this sleeve, I'm pulling from the inside. So, I think a few more rows, and then I can uh, just do the ribbing. And I want to do the ribbing similar to the neck. It's coming along slowly, because I have to go to work, and I don't work on it every time I want to. And at work, I don't take it with me, because I have... Uh, magic loop here magic loop here and then this yarn it gets tangled and everything so i just work on it right before bed but i would say this is a good progress i think i'm not sure but i might have something to wear this summer you guys it will happen <laughs> happy knitting and i hope next update will be me wearing this beauty yes yeah and of course my dog is here <laughs> Another update, it's June already, it's my day off, it's raining outside, so I guess I can't go anywhere, might as well work on this blouse. So I frogged the sleeve up to here because it was way wider than the other one, so as you can see now the yarn is dirty, wrinkled, so I make two rows here, two rows here. This is uh, taking the yarn from the inside, this is taking the yarn from the outside. And oh my goodness, I've been knitting for weeks, it feels like. 
but you know today I hope to make a big progress and I hope that next time I see you I will have already this kind of ribbing here okay wish me luck I have my drink ready the rain is on my blouse is here let's do this we can do this I mean I can do this Wow, <laughs> my lipstick looks crazy, but it doesn't matter because, you guys, I finished my spring pick uh, top from Drops Design. I redid the back a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. I did some sleeves with the same twisted rib as the um, chest and as the ribbing. It's not perfect has a lot of mistakes but God knows I worked a lot on it and I'm just gonna wear it that's it I'm not gonna remember that this sleeve started wider than this one I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna focus on the fact that this there's a weird blob here no I'm gonna block it wear it I'm actually on my way to buy some things right now so I'm just gonna wear it enjoy it right and that's it summer top is finished next I need to work on this one and after that I will truly have three summer tops made by me which are wearable and loved happy knitting everyone we have a peaceful rain this morning it's my day off many weeks later I'm working on this blouse Actually, I can't, I don't even feel good enough to leave the bed. I've been so anxious and depressed because of what happened to in Ukraine with the Novakakovka floods and everything. And me, I live very close to Ukraine. So, so in order to calm down, I decided to take this blouse and make it so that I can wear it. And maybe this will calm down, calm me down. I can't even speak. But anyways, happy knitting. And I'll check back with you when I have some ideas. I'm thinking maybe to like take a, a piece of yarn and do this. I don't know how this is called. But when I was little I used to do that because my clothes were too big. Because I tried to crochet the side and it, it makes nothing. No change. I need like substantial change because the, the straps are way too long and bouncy. Look, they are from woolly yarn and they're bouncing check back with you later i still haven't done anything i don't know what to do i put some uh, clippers to understand how much of the shoulder straps i need to you know cut or somehow to contain and look how much look how much it's so much i don't know what to do maybe there's better than just like to cut it and reattach <sighs> I don't know I don't know what to do I don't want to sleep on it because it's my day off and it's almost what time is it? it's 10 o'clock I can still work in on, on it for like an hour before I go to bed I don't know I don't know what to do it's so hard <laughs> I thought the knitting part is hard but actually remaking garments that I knitted it's hard <laughs> anyways I'm going out to buy some juice so I decided to wear my brand new made summer top my colorful summer top so ultimately I decided to just cut the sleeves they were in the back I cut them and reattached them with my crochet because I was trying to sew them somehow and it looked not good so i decided to just like do the easiest thing ever just cut it and move on with my summer that's it i can't fuss anymore with these projects i just want to wear them so i'm gonna have a nice day and if you followed me this far wait where's the camera have a nice day and if you followed if you got to this point comment down with a heart any color heart you want and of course enjoy your summer